come Santa Claus here. Come Santa Claus. Hey, how y'all doing this morning? Woo! Top of the morning to you, ladies. My name's the Randall Man Buck, and welcome to this part two of this beautiful mod release season. If you guys honestly thought that I was just going to do the tilt deck, you thought wrong, all right? That was just the stocking stuffer. You guys can probably see... Uh, I keep hitting my mic. It is literally like the one thing. I always hit my mic during the recording. But it's not over yet, guys. That was the stocking stuffers. This is the main event. So we're going to start by looking here in Santa's workshop, and we're going to see what else we got here. Um, for the releases here, these are all besides one little error on one of the mods, which will actually be the first one we go over. It literally has nothing to do with it. It's literally just one tiny little error. Everything else is error-free on this, guys. I checked log. I went back and fixed all the little things. So if, from my standpoint of view, it is completely error-free. But as we open up the doors here to start our event off, that's right. Jake's Prius is going to release. This is the towing edition. That it does not currently have the towing package on it. It's just the blue Prius. It does have the interactive controls. We're just going to go over all what's being released. So we got Jake's Prius. Um, we have a Kenworth T600. This is an Americanized version I did uh, actually a couple months ago. Some of these projects you guys are not going to know what I'm doing with. And like, when did you do that? Uh, this was done quite a while ago. This was actually supposed to be for a Nebraska series, but I never got to it. It does have the uh, all the electrical air hoses, a uh, big rack on the back. And on the back here, it does have Kenworth on the flaps. I believe this has the Peterbilt lights in the back. So just, again, cleaned it up, made it look nice, nice and spiffy. Got a lot of color options. I took the color palette from another truck, which right over here, the Western Star Lomax. This was originally an FS13 mod. I believe it was R&R &R that originally did this back then. But made it, it cleaned up very, very nicely. Brand new setup of i3D lights. New uh, Some of these parts I did take off of another model, so it's not 100% original. Uh, the mud flaps and all that, they're 3D, got some nice light pattern. Again, hoses and racks and do whatever. And the second one is the Ford Aeromax L9000. So this is another one. It's actually off the exact same frame as the Kenworth over there. But it's got uh, actually an interior. It's I'll, t I'll thank Expendables, and I believe it was uh, Mr. Ben from Expendables, big boy, a big boy out of there, uh, very well known. He actually just released all the, uh, the, the, the big... Chevy Blazer truck, not the Blazer. Uh, just, you guys know which one I'm talking about. If it's been out already, again, air hoses, lines, and all that stuff. And on this one, I gave it some new uh, back off flaps, except this one's the Tasmanian Devil ones. It's another set that's just kind of fun. And last, but certainly not least, we can't forget it, the main event. The 90s F-Series is coming out. That's right, everybody. Uh, finally decided to let this one go. This is error-free. The only one that has the error is the Prius, and it's like a vector error, and I think it might be a light. Not 100% sure, but as of right now, literally everything you see in this shed besides the one tiny error on that Prius, everything is error-free here. So store options go fast and everything else, but this is the entire mod release, guys. I'll start going over uh, just kind of some of the options. We'll start with the Prius here, find it under the cars category, uh, starts $32,500. Uh, you do have all your selectable color options. I really like this one. I might add this to a couple vehicles. I just kind of forgot that I had that on there, but a uh, full little color palette of a couple colors. You can get the hitch option, but you have to select the towing package on the back, which puts the receiver uh, prep on the back, and then you can put your hitch on, to, which is technically just a two-inch reverse drop, just so you can hook that up. Uh, the next one, as you go through it, will actually just go to the F-Series, which starts out at 12890 800-some bucks. But this one is, uh, to say the least, it's a multi-series. It's like the 2020, but it's a 1994. It's, I say it's a 94, 96, whoever it says it, it can be whatever the heck you want it to be. It's based off the OBS series of the 90s. So you can get a tow package F-150, then you can bump it up to a 250, then you have to change all the badges and whatnot, or you can get all the way up to a 350. The 250, you're locked to the big steelies. Uh, 350, you can stay single rear wheel, or you can opt for a dual rear wheel. Uh, it's got 4x4 four four coloring, so when you go to the 4x4 four four badging, which should be down here somewhere... Uh, da, 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 da. where's it at? Can't find it. There it is. Drivetrain 4x2. You can put the 4x4 badging, but because it's all the same color right now, all you got to do is change that, and that changes the color on the back. Now, it can be 4x4 off-road, or you can get just the 4x4. Literally makes no difference. It's just the sticker, and I changed that to there. A uh, big shout-out goes to Ross W. I'll throw him down in the description. Uh, he was able to help me out and hook me up with the F-250 badges that went alongside here. He did some modifications to a truck he did. 
Uh, so I threw decided to throw that on here. And then 350 badging, that was originally from Mr. McLean Modding, who originally did the truck that I based this model off of. Expendables did all the bed stuff. These are all just thanking everybody. It's a five on the floor. Uh, big uh, Broro Customs as well for the interior of the truck. And I just, again, I modified it to do whatever. Uh, but a whole lot of options when it comes to uh, just step sides going all the way across. You got your hitch options all the way from stock adjustables with fifth wheels to uh, just, a, just a ton of hitches, guys. Tons of stuff. So feel free to go on to that. Uh, this also does have those nice F-150 wheels, as you guys know from me back in the 90s. Full color palette again. Uh, some of it bringing back some of the 2020s colors as well as some of them just being like the iconic. Uh, it would be a red on white, to say the least. I know a lot of people were saying they like this one right here. But let's get on to the next one, which, again, you guys can find these all down in the description. They will all be on Mod Network. No, I'm not uploading these to ModHub.us, all right? I put them where I want them. They're going to go on Mod Network, so... That's where these will be. Uh, go check it. I said down in the description. As for the Kenworth, all the semis are going to be under the trucks category. The Kenworth here starts at 115,000 at the day cab. Uh, it's got three engines. All three of them share the same engine configurations. They got a pack car 12.4, pack car 12.9, and then a Cummins 14.9. So beautiful old truck here. Uh, this one has a mirror configuration color of. This one has a lot of the colors that actually came from the Western Star. The Western Star went in, and probably some of these colors they were put on other vehicles at some point but i just had a different name to them i went in there i just i went and physically made all the colors myself when it came to just figuring what it was so you can get like a black plastic for the mirrors you can get a chrome and then you can get like the faded red so it matches or you can start going through all these which are like daisy white jet black maroon some of the new ones i had on here are like baby blues on here marlin blues on here uh sand dollar brown that's another really nice one uh, just a whole bunch of colors and then for the designs you can get it just kind of goes through the options on the back you can get the mud flaps uh they don't flip or anything none of these have the flipping mud flaps but then you get fenders you can get the rack you get the rack and fenders just it just cycles through all of them until eventually you get to everything on the truck uh same kind of goes for the ford because they're both based off pretty much the same truck uh same engines but the designs the same concept mud flaps uh, fenders and then fenders and flaps because i didn't have a rack the rack didn't look too good on this truck because the cab's all curved um, same thing with the color palette on those, not as much customization. And then last but not least, the Western Star, 109,000. This is a beefy boy. She's got a little more options on her, uh, surprisingly for being this old of a model. But, uh, the color palette, like I said, this is where they all came from. And some of them look really, really, really good on here. Like the mint green. I love that on this truck. It looks beautiful. Another nice one is honey mustard yellow. It's, it's just a, it just kind of brings back those old time colors. But for the accessories on this truck, it's got antennas, visor, or the visor and antennas. Uh, for the fenders, you can have chrome or you can have them painted. And then the chicken lights are the running lights on the sides. You can have them on the side, side of the bumper, side of the air cleaner, and then just all of them. So, whole lot of options there. And one last thing about the uh, Western Star, actually, is that this one, I was going to do it to the other two, but I'm, I just, nah. If I do another version of them, though, then they will have it. And that is the Western Star has the new smoke uh, smoke package done by uh, Angry American and his crew. They got the roll coal script, and that's how this truck is. So it actually has dynamic smoke. All these trucks also share, all the semis share the same sounds as well. So kind of sucks, but I'll pull this thing out of here and I'll get on it a little bit. Snow is kind of stuck for these things. The Jake brake on this truck is absolutely phenomenal. But as you guys can tell, with the smoke, uh, very, very nice. I mean, it is a little unrealistic for, like, how high it goes. But, I mean, just for that in FS, that's just pretty dang cool. The running lights on this truck look absolutely gorgeous at night. They all have the UDIM lighting. So, that's another nice uh, little... Uh, topper to this. I mean, as you guys can see my messy Christmas setup from last video. Well, I'll just back this back into the shed. And the other thing is that when you get into these trucks, uh, the Western Star has the working gauges, working hour reader, as well as a time thing. As well as time, it does have a fuel gauge, RPM, and uh, speed. When you turn on your lights, those light up at night. 
The only thing I was going to do that I did to the F-Series and the Prius is that they light up automatically when you get in. Uh, the Ford, same thing. It just kind of uh, it lights up at night. And I don't think I actually had the gauges work on this one. But that is the interior to the west uh, to the Ford. So very nicely cleaned up on that. Uh, I can't get out because I'm too fat now. Come on. There we go. As for the Ford, you guys already know, five on the floor. But when you turn on the truck... Uh, all the gauges light up now. I got the uh, I got all that stuff fixed. Uh, CB actually doesn't light up until you turn on your lights, which I kind of forgot to add that one. But all still nice. A uh, very basic interior. It's got the bench seats up front, bench seats in the back. So you guys know you've seen this truck enough to know what it does. Jake's Prius. This oh this is I guess we're doing the Kenworth versus the Kenworth. This is actually an already been released mod again. I just Americanized it. So uh, this one doesn't have working gauges. It's just working steering wheel. Nice interior. And just uh, pretty nice. So last is Jake's Prius, which if I can get in it. There we go. Uh, working steering wheel. All when you turn them on. It's like the lights right now, they're kind of messed up in here. But you turn all this on. Uh, working wipers. Uh, time clock reads on the dash as well as your speed. The little green bar. Oh, that does have a backup beeper too. So it's true to a Prius. All right. Um, it is louder in the interior, so hate me if you will, but that's how Priuses are. This is why you don't buy them, <clears throat> Jake. Uh, but it does have its interactive controls to do the doors. Uh, the windows do roll down, and then you got your other ones up here for that. I took off the animation for the wipers on the stick here for the IC because of that bug. But that all works for that. And just, yeah, that's kind of it. So, as for me, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one as... Uh, I, I hope you guys didn't think I was only just going to do the trailers. Like, they, those are definitely something that I, pre I, pre I prize. But you got to have a bit. That's just the stock and stuffers. You can't just have one little thing. You got to do You got to do a bit, all right? So hope you all had a great holiday season. Hope you all have a great new year. That's going to do it for me this time, guys. Uh, be sure to check out that Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content for me and the gang. You already know who is in it. And be sure to check out all the people that I'm going to link down below. To, in other words, uh, all the people that are helping out with these, uh, who I pretty much mentioned, like uh, Angry American, Ross W., all of them, go check them out. They're really good people. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys all in the next one. This is a Rattle Man out. Peace.